In considering what follows, I ask you to be critical. I ask you to take time to digest what I present. What follows is highly controversial. It turns many widely held theories on their head. It requires a major rethink if you accept what is presented. So I ask you not to take snap decisions for or against what I have to say. Weigh up the evidence and make a considered decision. Look around as you travel and see whether what is proposed here explains the topography and geology elsewhere in the world, in the world where you live. I am confident that the interpretation postulated here is valid, valuable, and an accurate interpretation of key elements of terrain formation and, by extension, history. I would ask you to notice about the demolition that you have just seen. That building collapsed almost instantaneously. It is so that dramatic catastrophic change happens in very short periods of time. Think about reports of floods, volcanoes, hurricanes, typhoons. Any dramatic change, earthquakes, that you have heard of or encountered in your life. It happens rapidly, at a snap of the fingers. It doesn't happen gradually over millions or billions of years. That building did not fall down one grain of concrete at a time. It just totally collapsed. And I ask you to keep that in mind when you are evaluating theories of the formation of the earth with such evidence of catastrophic events as I will show you in the slides that follow to sum up this section of this presentation, whatever theory you adopt must be absolutely reliable and withstand all reasonable criticism. It must be practical. It must be possible to validate it against any situation you can personally identify. You should not abdicate your intellect in order to adopt it. I can name a hundred stroke thousand eminent geologists, archaeologists, zoologists who will disagree with you. It's really not a valid argument against what is presented here. This is wacko. It's also not a valid, valid argument against what is presented here. Don't allow yourself to be intimidated. Exercise your intellect. Look critically at what is presented and form your own opinions. Following on from this, we will look at the geology of South African gold mines. We will look at layered sedimentary rock around the world. We will look at the halfway house granite dome and other domes. We will look at the African erosion surface. We will look at the incised valleys. And then we'll talk about when this happened and ask the question, why are we here? Are these things signs of judgment or did they just happen? Where did the water come from? Where did it go? You need to think outside the box. And then we'll sum up and look at comprehensive evidence of a global flood and end by asking the question, where will you spend eternity? So in closing, I would ask you to ensure that your theory of topographic formation and the history of the earth is like a bridge and will stand up and not fall down because you have subjected it to critical examination.